Hi, my name's Liz Rice and I'm the chair of the CNCF's Technical Oversight Committee. We're the group that steer the technical direction of the foundation and assess projects that apply to join or move up through sandbox and incubation to graduated level. This gives us a vantage point to see interesting trends emerging from the cloud native world. So I want to take a few minutes today to talk about some of the changes we want to focus on over the next year or so and share some predictions about the up and coming technology areas we think will get more attention in 2021 and beyond. This year we revamped the sandbox process, making it much easier for projects to join at that level but with the understanding that this is a space for experimentation and early stage collaboration. So here's our first prediction for 2021. We expect to see some sandbox projects failing and others consolidating or merging with other projects. This is an entirely healthy thing. If the CNCF is going to support and encourage innovation in the cloud native space, we have to expect some of the experiments to fail. In fact, if all our sandbox projects make it to incubation, that would suggest we haven't been experimental enough. Let's keep cloud native innovative. At the other end of the maturity spectrum is graduation. A graduated project is one that we believe is ready for widespread adoption with little risk to an enterprise that chooses to take it on. The current graduation criteria were drawn up at a time when moving to cloud native was a pretty cutting edge thing for an enterprise to do. Now we're seeing much wider adoption and we have many more end users involved in our foundation. So it makes sense for the TOC to take a look at the way we assess projects at incubation and graduation to make sure these definitions stay meaningful for everyone. We're absolutely sticking with the principles of no kingmakers and one size does not fit all. But we think that as a community, we can do an even better job of highlighting the best solutions in cloud native and helping end users identify which project is best for their particular circumstances. This also includes making sure that project governance is confidence inspiring. As ever, we're not proposing to impose any particular form of governance, but we do want to provide advice and support for project leaders who might want help in this complex area. So another prediction, the CNCF will be able to provide additional support and ideas for governance models that work for contributors and users alike. Let's keep cloud native well governed. I feel on pretty safe ground on this next prediction. The number of projects involved will grow. There will continue to be a ton of innovation and we'll see more community driven collaborative projects joining the CNCF. Plus, our ecosystem includes lots of vendors building complementary projects in the cloud native space. So that's CNCF landscape. I'm looking forward to some downtime over the Christmas holidays with a nice jigsaw puzzle. Folks like to joke about the CNCF landscape and how you need a microscope to read it. But in all seriousness, there are lots of people who find it useful especially in its online form, to find out about projects that might help solve a particular problem they have. But I think we can do better to help users find their way around their options for a cloud native stack. I think I'm speaking not just for the TOC, but also for the CNCF staff when I say 
that creative ideas on this are welcome. So far, I've talked about how we operate as an organisation and a community. But now let's focus on the technology, which is what we get really excited about, right? Working with my talented colleagues on the TOC, we came up with five emerging themes and technologies that we think are ones to watch in 2021, in no particular order. We're seeing projects aiming to make resilience and chaos engineering easy to incorporate in your deployments. When your applications use many pluggable and loosely coupled components, it's hard to test the resilience of the overall system. It seems likely that in the not too distant future, it will be common practice to use chaos engineering to test how your applications handle failure scenarios and unexpected events. Kubernetes for the edge. While many end users today are running their Kubernetes clusters wholly located in data centers or the public cloud, we're seeing more and more applications where nodes or entire clusters operate at a physical distance. We're now hosting projects that explore various different models for running components distributed at the edge. It won't stop at orchestration. We'll need other cloud native components for the edge too. Service mesh, you knew this was coming, right? There's currently a proliferation of service mesh projects at various different levels of maturity and focusing on different features. We expect to see some consolidation starting to happen here and greater clarity about the different strengths and use cases that these different projects address. WebAssembly and eBPF will be hot technologies in 2021. Although they're essentially unrelated, they share some interesting characteristics like sandboxing, high performance and customization that make them really applicable for use in solutions to a range of cloud native problems. We're expecting to see a proliferation of projects to address the developer and operator experience. We need to make workflows easier and allow developers to free themselves from the implementation details like YAML and GitOps. There's unlikely to be a single user experience that fits every use case. So we're fans of pluggable dashboards and extensible API-driven UIs. We're seeing developer portals that make it easy to share common practices and tooling across organizations. And there are new tools built on top of cloud native technologies to take the idea of an integrated development environment to a whole new level and lower the barrier to contribution. I hope all the VCs and analysts have been taking notes. There's plenty of work to be done outside these areas. Do you remember two years ago in Seattle, Janet Kuo described Kubernetes as very boring? And she didn't mean that working on it was boring. She meant that it had moved into the mainstream. That's happening to more and more of our projects as they become mature and get adopted by lots of large organizations. There's tons of exciting and interesting work to be done to move cloud native projects into the mainstream and keep cloud native everywhere. Yeah.